through the, um, the cantilever, um, we heat up the, the tip and heat flows down into the, uh, the sample surface. You can see the little glowing uh, region on the, uh, the tip and the sample. Now, um, you remember from the previous slide, what we do is we measure the deflection of this cantilever by bouncing a laser beam off of the back side. So um, what we do then is as we pass more and more current and heat the uh, cantilever hotter and hotter, we measure the deflection of the, the, uh, the cantilever. And what happens in the early phases is the, um, uh, the, the material of the sample as it's heated will thermally expand and it pushes the uh, cantilever up so we see the deflection increase. Now, at a, a certain temperature, the material underneath the tip, the material that's getting heated, will soften and the tip will penetrate slightly into the sample surface and therefore the deflection will turn around. And what we can do is then identify the temperature at which that transition occurs, and this could be a melting transition or it could be a, uh, a glass transition, and we can measure uh, very accurately what the, uh, the transition at which this uh, occurs is. And uh, then we can do a series of these uh, uh, measurements at different locations on the sample to map out variations in the, uh, the transition temperatures, in the glass transition temperature, or melting transition temperature, for example. So um, the, uh, uh, the key enabling technology I mentioned previously we call thermolever probes. And uh, this is a scanning electron microscope picture of, uh, of one of these probes. Um, as I said, they're about uh, as long as one of your hairs is in diameter, and they have a sharp tip at the, uh, uh, the end of the cantilever. So right down here at the very end, if we blow that up, is a sharp uh, sort of pyramid-shaped uh, uh, tip with an uh, end radius very small, about 30 nanometers.